Welcome back everyone to the Atomic Islands. I have been searching all around for a sign of a warmer ocean. I found some normal oceans, which is a step up, I presume, from all those cold and frozen ones I've been finding before. So perhaps I still have some hope. I found these ruins over here, and the ruins seem to have their mandatory population of drowned there and one of those drowned has a trident in hand so let's see if I can get that trident into my hand instead now unfortunately while I was doing all this exploration I managed to collect a whole bunch of stuff well I'll just go on with this. Now the tricky thing is fighting against somebody with a trident. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here a little while, explore the island, and I'll come back right after sleeping. That way I'll have a place to come back to if I manage to <clears throat> get killed. Now that I've reset my spawn location and saved most of my stuff, let's now hunt for those drowned. Now I was going by the assumption that those were spawned in with the ruins, meaning that they shouldn't despawn. Now of course I could turn out to be completely wrong and that they were just random spawns, in which case my precautions killed the very thing I was after. Oh well, <coughs> so much for that plan. So let's see what's inside of it then. Flint apparently. Hold on, there is somebody there. Whether that's a random one or if it's our friend with the trident, well, I think our friend with the trident it might be down there. Well, I wasn't expecting to one-shot that thing. Alright, I was expecting these things been, uh, to be a lot tougher, I have to admit. I, I found our one with the trident. All right, I was, I was thinking I was missing, didn't have a shield earlier, so yeah. Slowly, slowly. Thank you. Well, it was worth a shot. Because tridents can be pretty tough to get because first you need a trident on the mob. And then once you take care of that, then they have to drop it. And apparently no treasure in this one. Ah, oh well. Right? No treasure at all? Really? Let's try this and just in case. And apparently not. No treasure. So back to seeing if I can find myself a nice little location where we've got warm enough oceans. Now, 
That is the most out of place chicken I've ever heard of. I mean, really. It thinks it's a duck! I decided to sail back home to a route that is different from the one I originally took, and I ran into a lukewarm ocean. So maybe there is some hope after all, finding a. Uh, n well, <laughs> so much for that idea. Oh well. But well, here it's a little bit warmer. Perhaps I could find somewhere a warm ocean, and this is actually a bit closer to my original spawn where I was before, so perhaps, but it looks like it's a small patch of lukewarm through an otherwise section of much colder areas. Well, I'll look around a little bit more, but so far it looks like this is going to be a bust in finding a nice warm ocean with coral reefs. Then again, Oh, I found a warm ocean. I just need to find a coral reef. Now, I've been in maps where you can't walk three... Ooh. Is this what I think it is? Yes! Finally! I found my coral reef. And, even though I took a very, very long way around, if I go southwest from the Mushroom Island, I don't think it's that far at all. At least compared to what's usually in this map. So I think I finally found what I am looking for. I will head for this island here. Might turn this into a little mini base, though. This island is not the warmest part of the ocean. And maybe this could be my home for my warm ocean builds. It's about the same distance from my spawn as the periodic table is. So it's a uh, Hefty hike, but nevertheless, it's probably going to be one of my major bases there. My major bases so far are the Mushroom Island. Actually, it's probably my only major one so far. The periodic table might be come someday, but I still haven't built a real stronghold there yet. But it looks like this might be a good one, or at least... This could be a good site for my hydrogen build at the very least. I got some a nice pond in the middle here. I've got the resources I need for the coral reef. And I'm um, well relative to this big huge island world I've got here. Not too far from spawn, so we'll work with it. When I originally thought of doing an aquarium build, I had thought of creating some an artificial glassed in area of water and use that as the basis for the aquarium, but do I really need to do that? Me, I was thinking of taking these two ponds here, joining them together into a larger pond and that that could form the basis of the aquarium, maybe enlarge it a little bit. In other words, take what I naturally have, carve it out a little bit, and create a seafloor bottom out of the sand, and that will become my aquarium that I can use. And I could then move in some coral here. So the idea there is to have a nice, safe location right on the land where you could view the coral. Now, I did go and I haven't harvested any coral yet. I want to make sure 
I have an idea of what I'm doing before I'm doing that. You have to be careful with coral because once you A you have to place it in water. If you place coral outside of water you you kill it. Now let me see what biome am I in right now? I am in okay, beach. I guess that makes sense. And if you go around harvesting it and putting it out of water and of course you need silk touch for it so those two things to take into account when I'm doing this and I just want to connect these two together you got and of course water is always a tricky thing in there it was tricky before 1.13 and it's now tricky in different ways in the new version so another thing to take into account now I'm not opening this up yet because I want to make sure I get source blocks and if you do it wrong you get all sorts of messy stuff one thing you do to alleviate the mess is to get some kelp because kelp inside of moving water can give oh I also got to get a buck. I have to go through here with a bucket at some point and collect some tropical fish because that's going to be definitely needed for the aquarium and tropical fish always puts a nice pretty look to everything. I'm looking for a good place to farm some kelp. Uh, this might do. Because the kelp has a way of growing everywhere. It also has a way of creating source blocks because waterlogged kelp turns it in waterlogging kelp turns it turns a non source block into a source block. So kelp is a favorite way it looks like everybody's using to do that. Probably one of the reasons is because this stuff is well, it grows and it's common. It's ridiculously common out in the oceans. Which you can imagine when I've seen people use it as a fuel block and as a as a food source. Rather strange thing to use for it, but yeah, it's doable. But it's such a poor food source that you can imagine how common the stuff is if they're willing to eat kelp and use it as a fuel source and when I say talk about fuel sources it's using it's going around it's creating dried kelp and all sorts of fun stuff in fact if I run out of coal I may wind up having to do that myself in this area but I haven't resorted to that yet but dried kelp gives quite a bit of quite a long burn rate. Alright, let's let's have that as a beginning to help with it. Now where's my beach? Yikes. Thankfully I managed to write down the coordinates for a change. I was able to find my way back. Now I want to make this place as mob safe as possible meaning safe from mobs spawning in now there's nothing I can do about drowned I suppose because I they're likely to be able to pop in and offshore and come in there I suppose I could put sea pickles all over the place in order to deter that I did pick up some seed pickles while I was in there and I need to double check what the procedure is for getting seed pickles to be able to grow. I think you get them growing on coral or something like that. I have to double check what that is, but there is a way to grow seed pickles and I think I will try that so I could get the water here because I need that to be mob safe. Now I will have to replace these torches with something more suitable at some point and 
find another source of torches because I just used them all. Hmm. Well, I suppose I that's what I could do with these trees. I have plant I planted several trees all over the place. So I could get some extra wood and some of this is probably gonna turn into charcoal, it sounds like, if I'm gonna get more torches. I'm uh, still trying to decide whether I want to keep these larger ones as is, or if I'm just going to also harvest those. They'll give you a whole bunch if you harvest them correctly, but of course, they have the disadvantage of being a real pain to take out. Apparently, if there's one next to a smaller tree, it'll keep that smaller tree from disappearing because, oh, there's wood there. Okay, obviously part of the same... No, it's not part of the same tree. It's part of a different tree. Oh, well. But yes, I'm going to try to get as much wood as possible. Maybe some... Get some charcoal so that I can have a good place to... So I, so I could get some torches and the like. And light at this place as much as possible. Actually, that's another idea I have on it, is that at some point along my journeys, I did pick up a few more pumpkins. I was wondering, what am I going to do with these pumpkins? But really, actually, I don't really want to use pumpkins. Now, this is going to be a water-based build, though. One possibility is just put little ponds all over the place. Uh, what would be really great would be prismarine lamps. But that would mean going into, into an ocean monument. And I don't feel like doing that. Now, the reason why I've been looking to make this as safe for mobs as possible is I want to be able to breed up these turtles. And you have to stay up at night if you want to keep the turtles alive. Maybe a fence all around the place? Another possibility. Actually, this is beach. I wonder, is this technically beach or what? Maybe a beach. It might be that Drowned won't spawn into the ponds. Uh, that'll be good. I know they could spawn into ocean, deep ocean, and rivers. I don't know about where are the other spots where they're allowed to spawn at. Let's test some sea pickles here a little bit. I picked up a few while I was exploring the uh, the other area there. Now, I am going to be replacing the floor here, as I think I mentioned already. But I thought we could at least put a few here for the sake of experiment. Now, I can't put them here, I believe. Right, because you see they don't do anything if you do that. But if you're in the water, they're extended and they should provide some light. I'll have to come back here when it's nighttime and see how it looks. Meanwhile, I am cooking some charcoal here and I'm hoping that the charcoal will give me enough torches so that I could keep this place nice and lit and we could all be happy. The other thing that I'll be needing is some seagrass. Now where is there some seagrass? If I can't find any... Whoops! Uh, speaking of drowned... <sighs> Hello? Don't know what inspired him to come around. Yeah, I don't have any seagrass around here. I don't know why it's so little bit, but I do have 
some bone or some bone meal and I think that could give us some seagrass in the same way that you can yeah there you go and there you go okay that help us to breed turtles good that takes care of one now if I do start light this place up and maybe I should take those down if I do manage to light this place up and create a turtle breeding area we do have to worry about drown so that would be my main concern but that could turn into an effective drowned farm I guess there is one more thing I want to verify for this episode and that is the wiki notes that if you go down near coral you're going to run into drowned apparently oops that sea pickles I just want to see what you do because I that you could use bone meal in order to grow them and in order to do that you need a live block I don't know if I managed did I pick that up yes I did oops I think that probably the wiki probably also says that if you want to stay alive you need to breathe every once in a while all right I'll have to find some solution on that matter but now I have a living coral block here let us go put it into the water because if you don't put it into the water you kill the block and when I do that I'll see if I'm able to grow some sea pickles and if I can do that then it means that I'll have a means of getting some more on here first let's just plop this block down inside the water of course uh, right here good then I keep it alive now if I throw it on here what happens that just gives me grass like anything else but I think if I take a seed pickle put it here what happens it gives me more seed pickles okay good and that's what I need to know in order to make the ingredients for my aquarium I can get sea grass pretty easily I can get sea pickles by reproducing them that way I have a source for coral coral I'll probably have to get myself a new silk touch pickaxe or to repair this one if I'm going to do any serious harvesting up I don't want to do too much harvesting because we don't want to destroy the natural one here I just want enough to help to enhance this particular section in here so between episodes I'm going to get the stuff that I need help light this place up oh actually I've got to start the first breeding though on camera but I can't save that for between episodes, right? Hello there. Hello. You you want... We need our first egg to be produced. We'll finish off with our first turtle egg being produced here. And this could become one of the features to our little future aquarium. And... All right. Well, she's going to get around and lay her eggs at some point, I'm sure, right? It's like asking for turtles to do something quickly. We'll see them in a moment. I heard a turtle egg drop, and there we go. We have two turtle eggs. Now I just need to find a way to keep them safe. And that's what I'll do between episodes. Try to make these eggs safe. Try to get the ingredients I need. And then we could do our hydrogen build in the next episode of The Atomic Islands.